Sup everyone, I'm Female Otaku and I'm here to review episode 8 of Aoharu X Kikanju. And yes, this review was able to come out on time because I have not left my house yet, but I am about to. So I'm here to get this review out for you. So with that said, let's get started. This episode, I loved it so much. <sighs> this episode pretty much spoke to me. Hotaru is basically me when I get into one of these kinds of games, like whether I play paintball or laser tag, stuff like that involving guns in general, like over at the arcade. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I pretty much act like H Hotaru. Not so much metery. It's really a combination of metery and Hotaru because, um, let's see here. Metery, at times, he tends to be a little more of a dick. And, um, as you all know, I like Midori. It's just that when he was shooting um, Matsuoka repeatedly and stuff and covering his mouth, I was all like, okay, come on, you just lost some points there, dude. Like, like no, that, that wasn't cool. That wasn't cool, man. <laughs> Arties, I'm really, a, a, like I said, a combination of Hotoru and Midori when it comes to these type of games, all right? So, let's see here. I think Hotoru is confusing her sense of justice and will, you know, to keep order and justice and stuff like that with bloodlust, I think that's starting to become pretty clear. She's starting to really confuse that. Like, does she really want to um, show justice and things like that? Or does she really just want to wreck something up? Because... They're starting to get mixed around, I'm starting to see, okay? Are you guys noticing? Honestly, it's pretty hard if you don't notice right now, <laughs> okay? Hotoru is confusing. Justice and bloodlust. And it's pretty awesome. Oh, it's so cool. Now, I've got to say, I'm pretty happy. Honestly, I'm pretty happy that Toy Gun Gun lost to... What, what's their team's name? Hoshino, Hoshiro, something like that, okay? Because it would have been pretty hard to believe that they would beat the four-time champions within, like, the first round and stuff, and it's, like, their first time going in. So it would have really have not been believable whatsoever, okay? I, I, I might have been actually a little upset to that they would beat the best of the best already so quickly and stuff. Then it's, like... Okay, then what's the challenge heading forward? So, I'm glad that they lost, honestly. But that leaves the question open, though. What is going to happen next? I have no idea. Are they going to enter, you know, regular survival games like they've been doing, like, earlier now? Because they can't head back over into the championships now, unless if there's... Unless, I know some championship games and things like that, they have it to where... The loser ends up versing the loser, but I don't know if this was like the knockout rounds or not, so... I don't know. <laughs> but I'm excited, and I really want to see Hotoru go crazy, and I really like Midori, even though he was a bit of a dick this time. I've got to admit, but as long as he doesn't do that kind of stuff, then I'll continue to like him. <laughs> you guys saw that ending? The ending was pretty good. And you saw Midori and Hotu just getting crazy. I'm all like, yes. Okay, all right. Uh, I'm a crazy person. <laughs> all right, all right. So let us hope that we all catch me later as I review Durara the Second Arc and Charlotte. And I'll be reviewing these over while I am in Cape May. All right, you guys probably heard that story enough already. So I'm female otaku. Sayonara. Oh. One last thing, if you want to keep up with my adventures and stuff over that over in Cape May, then please follow me on Vine because I actually make a lot of Vines when I'm traveling and things like that so you guys can know where I am, what I'm doing. I make comedy anime Vines and things like that, okay? So, again, I am a female talking. Sayonara.